the conditions that we had this year, hot, dry weather to the south of us, uh, Louisiana, South Texas, Mexico, we're in a severe drought, and drought favors caterpillar type pests. Part of this problem that we've seen with all this migration this year into Arkansas is, is the fact that a lot of these bollworms had been treated before they ever got here in, in say, Mexico or, or South Texas. So they had already been exposed to a lot of insecticides. And so when we started uh, trying to make applications, our standard is usually a, a pyrethroid. Uh, like Karate or Mustang Max or, or Asana, Baythroid. There's a lot of pyrethroids out there. But what we found was because they had been exposed to the pyrethroids earlier that we were seeing some some uh, loss of control with pyrethroids. So we're talking about uh, you know using a pyrethroid in conjunction with orthane tank mixing or going with uh, Steward or Belt or some of the newer products that are out there to help us get these populations under control because we are experiencing some tolerance to the pyrethroids with, uh, uh, with these bowworms. Your Arkansas Soybean Podcast is a production of the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture and was funded in part by the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board. For more information on soybean farming in Arkansas, contact your local county extension office.